Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will have a look on how to find missing numbers in multiplication. So let's get started. Before going to the exercise, let us recall a few basic points about multiplication. Here we have the multiplication. In this, 123 is known as multiplicand, 32 is called as multiplier and this is the line we get when we multiply the multiplicand with once place digit in the multiplier and this is the line we get when we multiply the multiplicand with tens place digit in the multiplier and this is the product and one more thing is a into b is equal to b into a means that 3 2s are 6 and 2 3s are 6 okay now let us do the exercise here we have to find the multiplier here 7 is there and the result 1 is there with what number if we multiply 7 we get the answer as 1 in the units place see 7 3s are 21 right so the multiplier is 3 7 3s are 21 and 2 is the carryover 1 is already there 3 1s are 3 3 plus 2 is 5 so the missing digit here is 5 okay here we have to find this digit here we have already 6 is there. So 3 into how much is 6. So 3 2 is a 6. So here the digit is 2. And 3 2 is a 6. Okay. In this way we have to find the missing digits. Now let us go to this, this example. Here we have multiplier and we have to find the digits in the multiplicand. Let us see how. Here 2 is there and the result also 2 is there. So with what number if we multiply 2 we get the result 2. Here we have 2 options 1 2 is a 2 6 2 is a 12. Which number we have to select let us see. See here if we select 1 2 1 is a 2 okay. But here 3 is there. In the 2 table 3 won't come. So we need some carry over. So we have to select the number which gives the carryover. So the number is 6. 2 6 are 12. 1 is the carryover. 2 1 are 2 plus 1 3. Okay. Now let us find this digit. Here 2 is there and the result 4 is there. With what number if we multiply 2 we get the result 4. Let us check. Here also we have 2 options. 2 2 are 4 and 7 2 are 14. Here observe this digit 7 is there. In the 2 table 7 won't come right. So we need to select the number which gives the carryover. See here 7. So the digit becomes 7. 2 7s are 14. 4 is already there. 1 carryover. Okay we need to find this digit now. We have 2 and we have 7 here. See 2 3s are 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay. Now this digit becomes 3. Okay, in this way we have to find the missing digits. Now let us go with the last example. Here we have to find out the multiplier and it has 2 digits. Now let us see how to find. Here 6 is there and the result 2 is there. With what number if we multiply 6 we get result as 2 in the units place. Here we have 2 options. 6 2 is 12. And 6 7 is 42. Which number we have to select? 2 or 7. Let us see. If we write 2 here. 6 2 is 12. Okay. 2 is there already. And 1 is the carryover. 2 7 is 14. Plus 1 is how much? 15. Means here 5 should be there. But here 3 is there. This says that 2 is not correct. So we have to go with 7. Okay. 7 into 6 is 42. 2 is already there. So 4 is the carryover. 7 7 is a 49 plus 4 is 53. 3 is already there. So we have to write the carryover here. And here we have to find out this digit. Here we have carryover and the result. In these cases what we have to do is we have to subtract the carryover from this result. So 7 minus 5 is how much? 2. Now we have to check with what number if we multiply 7 we get the result as 
2 in the units place. Okay. 6 7s are 42. Okay. So here the digit is 6. And the carryover is 4. Why? Because 7 6 are 42 plus 5. 47. 7 is already there. So we have to write the carryover here. 7 9s are 63. 63 plus 4 is how much? 67. Okay. Now let us find out the another digit in the multiplier. Here we already know that 0 will be there here. Why? Because we are multiplying the multiplicand with tens place digit in the multiplier. So we have to check from here. With what number we multiply 6, we get result 4. See here also we have two options. 6 4s are 24 and 6 9s are 54. Which number we have to select? 4 or 9? Let us see here. If we write 4 here, 6 4s are 24 4 is here already and 2 is the carryover. 4 7s are 28. 28 plus 2 is how much? 30. So 0 should be here but 8 is there. So 4 is not correct. So we have to go with 9. So the digit here is 9. 9 6 are 54. 4 is, here, 4 is there already. So 5 is the carryover. Okay. 9 7s are 63. 63 plus 5 is how much? 68. 8 is there already. So carry over is 6. Okay. 9, 6 is 54. 54 plus 6 is how much? 60. So we have to write 0 here and the carry over 6 is here. 9, 9 is 81. 81 plus 6 is how much? 87. 7 is there already and we have to write 8 here. Okay. Now let us add these two lines. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. 5 is there and 1 is the carryover. 1 plus 7 is 8. 6 plus 7 is 13. So 1 is the carryover. 3 is already there. 8 plus 1 is 9. So we got the product correctly. So our solution is correct. I hope this video is very helpful to you. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.